two. Mission complete. Mission complete. Things are only gonna heat up as we have to fight against vicious TIE fighters to protect the Galactic Star Well done, everybody! And we also get to wield a lightsaber as we get trained by some of the best. This is the epic conclusion to our Galactic Star Cruiser experience. So why don't you join us on this magic journey? All right, it's day two. We're about to head over to Batu. We just have to get on our transport. Ooh, we're gonna get there pretty quick with that transport. <laughs> Do this really cool pin before you get on the transport. Which I'm gonna put on right now. Oh, I think one of them just survived. Oh, so I make this. Whole place quick. is shaking. <laughs> I better make this one quick. There we go. <laughs> oh, I can't find it. There we go. How does it look? Let's see. Looks great. <laughs> Good spot? Perfect spot. All right. That's where I shall be. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Awesome. The Halcyon. Oh, I hear the transport. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. I can hear the transport. All right, into the transport we go. Wow. We got all to ourselves. Oh. <laughs> really well themed. I'll sit on this side. <laughs> Wow. Batu <laughs> Transport 1, this is AJ10 on the Halcyon Star Cruiser. You are clear to undock. Copy control. Activating undocking sequence now. Copy that. Hold on to the handrails with your hands, tentacles, and other appendages. <laughs> We're the only ones on the transport. Your your legs. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, what the heck? What was that? It's pretty much air conditioned inside this transport. So they're gonna take us over to bed too. And then once we're there, these doors should open and let us out. So pretty cool, it's not bad. If you're someone who gets like uh, a little dizzy or car sick, you might not like this, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. The theming inside looks awesome. I know from the outside, it's supposed to be a little vanish, but <laughs> on the inside, it's pretty cool. Oh. Please check the return time posted at the exit for your return trip to the Halcyon Star Cruiser. Four o'clock. Enjoy your day, and may your deals go well. Now you don't want to stay past four o'clock because they will leave you. All right, we're here. Thank you. We got some bright suns. <laughs> All right, so here in Batu, uh, you do get a concierge. You also get free water. It's complimentary. So if you did want to get it to stay cool, hot today. It is a little hot. You can come and get your complimentary water. Nice. 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 Thank you. Since the Halcyon is in collaboration with Docking Bay 7 and Rotso's Roasters, you can get yourself a meal for free. It is complimentary. Now, it's not breakfast anymore. It is lunchtime. Do you think we should get some lunch? I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Docking Bay 7. Like that sounds pretty good. Falcon over here. Look. Oh. Now we do have to be back by four. Yes. So we have a little bit of time to ride Rise of the Resistance, Resistance. and a get a meal. And get a meal. Yeah, let's try it out. Have, we do have lightsaber training at three? Four? Yeah. No, we have bridge training at three. We got bridge training at yes, three? Well, let's, let's get go. going. We got our menu here. I think what I'm gonna get is the pork ribs. And what did you wanna get? I wanna get the Pekka, is it Pekka? The tuna Pekka tuna pokey? pokey. All right. Pekka tuna poke. <laughs> Sounds like a song. I know, that's why I got it. You can get food and a drink if you want, that is included. But uh, if you do not want a drink, you can get yourself a dessert. And that's yes, what you did. That's what I got. Yeah, and so. And we have water. And we got you know, water. I'm really wanting a specialty food, but the dessert looked really delicious. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That looks delicious. this food because we don't have this food about to west but I have my um, delicious looking pika tuna poke it's really delicious and I think McVee got uh, what did you get <laughs> these are the ribs, the ribs we don't right? have these either Those yeah look at that it's huge and then I didn't get a drink but I did substitute it to this dessert and look how delicious that looks this is the moon um, puff pastry I believe I have really to pretty. look it up but look how pretty yeah Pretty to eat. <laughs> I am hungry. So I'm gonna try out my peke tuna poke. That's delicious. I believe I have sriracha sauce, ginger. Here we go. 
So it's a very bright dish, full of colors, full of flavor. I love the sriracha sauce on it. Let me just say, this is perfect for like that heat because that batu sun, woo, it, it gets pretty hot in here. But it's delicious, it's refreshing, and it's scrumptious. Yay! So these are the smoked kadu pork ribs. Now this is pork ribs brushed with tangy barbecue sauce and served with blueberry corn muffins and a red cabbage slaw. Now I remember when Docking Bay 7 first opened up, they did have some kind of ribs. I haven't seen them lately, but uh, hopefully these taste just the same because those were delicious. All right, let's try it out. Let's see if I can actually cut through it. Nope, has a bone right through the middle. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do this the magic journey's way. <laughs> Such a huge piece of meat. All right. Look at this. All right, here we go. Very sweet yet tangy barbecue sauce. Very good. It just melts away in your mouth. And then you also get onions so you can put those on your meat. Really cool. And you also get this very nice looking muffin. Now, oh. <laughs> it's blueberry. It's good. It wants that sweet and savory taste. It's cornbread with blueberry in it. Ooh. Really good. What happened to our pork ribs at Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland? I think they were replaced by the dewback noodles. Which I'm not mad about it because those dewback noodles, noodles are, are pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it wasn't that one. <laughs> All right, so we got a message from Captain Kevin who I think wants us to help out the resistance. So she says, go to the resistance encampment. So she also sent me this photo. Anything to help out the resistance. Anything to help out the resistance, yes. All right, so we do have Lightning Lane for Rise of the Resistance. We're about to get on. You do get that when you're on board the Halcyon. You get a way to get on this attraction much faster. I think Kevin just sent us a message saying that she saw us. She knows we're here? The, yes. She said, make sure to listen to all instructions from our resistance ground crew. They'll keep you safe and make sure your message gets to her. So we are literally on a mission from Captain Kevin herself. And we have to infiltrate this base, this outpost. We're going to see what's going on inside here. Yeah. We made it in, so let's see. We just have to go through these doors right here. <laughs> Doing all the Star Wars role play is like so much fun. Yeah. Oh, I'm into it. <laughs> BB-8, is everyone assembled? Yes. Good. Should you be in flight prep? Transport's been captured. We're gonna have to find a way to get out of here. All right, we're gonna have to do it for Captain Keevan. Captain Keevan, he got you. Well, do not touch the walls or you will be cleaning them. <laughs> Transport and supervise your children. Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the 
go back. Run away. Oh, oh no! You're not authorized. Wait, it goes to the prisoners. <laughs> Underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields. Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm. All personnel to their station. Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. of the secret base, and then I will destroy you and the resistance. that mission that mission that was, was cool. something else <laughs> yeah i love rise of the resistance and it's cool that when you do this you can actually get on rise you can get on smugglers run without having to wait you just walk on with lightning lane and then you also get some meals here that you can enjoy when it's complimentary so that's really cool you get a drink too so far i'm having a blast so captain keevan just texted me and i just told her we escaped the first order but that was a close call mission complete <laughs> mission complete yeah. When you're here, don't forget to hop on the Millennium Falcon and seal some coaxium for the Halcyon. All right, so it's time to head back to the Halcyon, so let's go. Good. Yeah. Thank you. It's my honor, it's my honor. <laughs> How was your journey over in Batu today? Really? That felt nice and refreshing, that cold towel and get back of my neck and on my arms. That felt so good because those three suns. Yeah. Woo! And I'm not kidding. Yeah, one sun is bad enough, but now you got two extra ones. <laughs> Imagine that. You trusted us with a package. Give this to the next crew member that you see. Oh. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's heavy. It is, it is. It's, it's very important that they be getting back aboard the ship. Very important cargo. All right. Remember that, Janelle. It's important. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Hey, welcome back, passengers. What do you guys think Please. is in this? Coaxium. Coaxium. I kind of want to open it. Can we open it? Wow. We can't open it. No, we no, can't I open want it. To break a chest. They trusted us, you know. We cannot open it. Mm-hmm. Can't. What if it's coaxium? Whoa. Yeah, we're going back to the house. Coaxium was like very oh, unstable. You don't want to open it. Black Spire Outpost. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> hey. While I was enjoying an oil bath at the Droid Depot, I heard that some of you got tangled up in some serious first order business. Oh yeah. You all didn't have anything to do with those massive explosions about Batu, did you? Uh, I mean, wow. I don't know. But if you did, <laughs> I know we're on the back of the truck, but with it bouncing up and down, it actually feels like you're, you know, traveling. Uh, <laughs> I'm still scared about this. Like, I really want to open it, but I don't want to break the truck. Yeah, don't break the trust. You don't want to break the trust. Are you turning first order on me? No, I'm resistant. I'm straight up old school rebel, man. 
Please remain seated until the transport shuttle has come sure to a complete stop. Make sure the person that gave this to is trustworthy too. Control, this is to give this is Batu Transport number. 1. Request permission to dock. I'm going to make sure I can trust the crew member I'm giving this to. Yeah. Yeah. You are clear to dock. Right, Welcome back to the Halcyon Star Cruiser, travelers. Please remember to gather all of your personal cargo, transports, and young ones. Hope to see you again soon. As we say on Batu, may the spires keep you. Thank you. Okay. They said it's very important. It is. Must be Gaia's <laughs> microphone, yes. <laughs> <laughs> or coaxium. I really want to know what sandwiches. Definitely sandwiches. That is precious cargo. <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> Roast beef sandwiches? Or like tuna. Do you like tuna sandwiches? I like tuna sandwiches and I like Jersey Mike's too. Jersey Mike's? All the sandwiches. Mm. And they put us all the way in the back. No, not the excursion in Batu. <sighs> this is a long hallway. <laughs> Look at this. All the way over there is where we just came from. Goodness, we still have ways to go. <laughs> I'm acting like it was really heavy. <laughs> this is the Halcyon Star Cruiser training hilt. I got this one downstairs. I actually got two. I haven't opened it yet. I'm very excited to check it out. Let's see. Let's open up the box. Ooh. Oh, ho! look at that. That is awesome. Look at the hilt. It's beautiful, huh? We got two of these. So one of them is for us, and the second one, we're actually gonna be giving it away to one of you guys out there. All you have to do is leave a comment, letting us know what your favorite Star Wars film is, and why is it your favorite. And after that, pretty much, you're set. That's all you have to do. Um, we're excited to give this away. It looks really cool. And yeah, all you have to do is let us know what your favorite Star Wars film is and why. And when you win, we will contact you and you will get your lightsaber. <laughs> Very cool, huh? I just got a message from Saja. Look at her. She says, incredible news. We've uncovered some Jedi artifacts on Batu, and they're on the way up to the Star Cruiser. <laughs> and I think that was the, 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 the crate cargo? I was holding. Yes. Oh. A mysterious crate is included in the shipment. Our contact on Batu said that they had a feeling it would be special to us. Oh, they yeah. know. You might have the perfect answer for this. Oh, stormtroopers, the little Jedi. From what I found out, it's every day's different food. Really? Yeah. Day two of lunch. All these desserts look really tasty. If you got a sweet tooth, ooh, you're gonna love this. They have so many foods, interesting looking. It's almost like art when you look at them. Very colorful, very vibrant. But when you try them, oh man, are they good. They have your kadu rib right here. The one that you had a batu. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm going to get some more of that. <laughs> these are the kadu rib bites with sweet sticky glaze. Now I had these in batu and let me tell you guys, those are a must. Right next to the fountain, they also have iced tea. They have green milk and blue milk that you can get unlimited of. I think I might get myself some, you know what? I've never tried it mixed and I try to do it at the park and they don't do it anymore. Yeah, yeah, you have to do it yourself. I do it yourself here. Listen, if they have the Tordario drink, I'd have been like, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Should we try the blue or green milk? Yeah, whichever one you like. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go for the green milk. What do you guys like more? You guys like the blue milk or the green milk? Let me know in the comments. I'm more of a green milk kind of guy. I know it's crazy. Some people love the blue milk. I just feel like the green milk has more of a fruity taste, which I like. Does it taste the same as the ones in the park? I think it tastes better. I don't know what it is. At first I wasn't a big fan of this when it came out, but now that I'm drinking more of the green milk, it's become my favorite. Because it, it's in the Tordaya drink. <laughs> Alright, so I'm getting blue milk for McVee. Am I not correctly? It is. Thank you, baby. That looks good. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Right? <laughs> yeah. Delicious. It's not as chilled as the one out in the park. Right, Usually over there you get a little ice in it. Refreshing. Yeah, this is more liquid. It's good. I still prefer my green milk, which I just mm. have right there. And yeah, it puts you in that Star in. Wars mood. <laughs> what a delicious food we have. 
Yummies. Before we meet Captain Keevan at the bridge, we decided to come and get ourselves some lunch. My green milk. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then Janelle got her food over here too. Some Coke Zeros. And I still got my blue milk. I'm gonna try this burrata. Ooh. Mmm. So, you know, you can tell like something's fresh. Those tomatoes are like robust, fresh, and juicy. Cheese is like creamy. So far, so good. <laughs> the next one, I have the Bermundi, I believe. So it's fish. Ooh. Mm. Oh, the flavors are there. Just the fish is a little dry, but I think it's because it was under the warmer for so long. So there's some of the quinoa. Just quinoa. I always thought quinoa is kind of like bland, but this one has, actually has some good flavor in there, which I'm really surprised. Now this is a beautiful, colorful, delicious dish. I just think the fish is a little bit dry, but again, I think it's because it was under the warmer for a little while. Other than that, it's delicious, it's scrumptious, and if you're here at the Star Cruiser, don't miss out on this. It's really, really good. Okay, so right here, these beautiful ribs are called the Cadu ribs. They're just like the ones we had up there in Batu. But uh, these are little bites, and they have a nice little sticky glaze. And on the side, you also have a spicy slaw. Let's try this out here. I wonder if it still has the bone in it. I think it's bone out. <laughs> oh, it's bone out. So it's just a rib? Get out of town. No, there's a bone just like a Galaxy's Edge. Very sweet, very juicy. It's fatty too. It's a little bit different. I feel like the one over there at Docking Bay 7 actually is a little fresher than it is here. And it's probably because it's been under the warmer. By staying under the warmer, it does get a little dry. And that's what happened to these. But it's still very flavorful, very sweet and glazed. Uh, I love it. So this is the Dip Tip Yip Chicken. And it's just like they have a Galaxy's Edge at our home. I didn't like it the first time it came out because I thought it tasted too much like, like school lunch. I think they changed the recipe because it does taste a little different. <laughs> It is very crispy on the outside. It's got some very tender, juicy chicken on the inside. That's really good. And then it comes with noodles too. <laughs> Unfortunately, the noodles are a little bland on this one. The noodles have almost no flavor, but the chicken is very delicious. The only thing I would say is the Cadu ribs, it's a must. If you're here at Galaxy's Edge, oh, Galaxy's Edge, if you're here at the Halcyon, I would recommend the ribs because they're very good. Ooh, look at this little dessert here. Cut into it. Ooh, chocolate. That's really good. <laughs> oh man, there's always you. something, something going on here. There's always something happening here. <laughs> oh, there he is. Uh-oh. Being called to come into the bridge. All right, go ahead and tap your band. Excellent. So we got weapon station here on the bridge. You ready for this? I'm ready. Yeah. Oh. It's SK. There he goes. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Ooh, we're close to that too. <laughs> yeah, and we gotta make sure that we do something right because we don't want to put all the passengers in danger. No, we don't. But look, you can see the map where we've been. Right mm -hmm. now we're, we're by about two because there's still travelers over there until yeah. like four o'clock. Ready. Starboard side, are we ready? Yes. ready? Welcome to the operations bridge of the Halcyon Star Cruiser. Yeah. On behalf of my crew, we are honored to guide you through a few hands-on demonstrations and capabilities of this incredible ship. Oh, all right. <laughs> Just gotta hit the target. Let's see, let's fire again, let's fire again. Okay. Bam! Ooh, all right. All right, let's take him out. Look, I'm firing that blue laser over there, the red. Come on, Janelle, let's get him. We got this, come on, go, 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 go. Come on. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. That English, station controls training protocol. All right, now we're at the loaders. Loader console is next. All right, so we're gonna grab this cargo here. We're gonna move it down. Blue button. Captured. Where's the cargo? <laughs> I don't see it. There you go. There you go. I got that one. I got it. Yeah. We had a 
drop the camera for a second because I couldn't concentrate looking for the viewfinder on this thing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh. A lot. Quick thinking, hands on teamwork. What's not to love about this station, right? We're going to jump into hyperspace. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Shield. Yes, you can come back. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, everyone jump into hyperspace. In three, two, one. All that adventure, Janelle said she needed something to drink. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Yeah. It's essentially outside, but <laughs> it's still pretty cool. And they also have all these rocks that you can try to like stack. All right, so I'm getting my data pad. I'm gonna go on tools and trans, oh no, yeah, translate. I kinda wanna know what this is saying. Bees, Gungan, Nogona, Nabu. Those are the type of plants that come from Nabu. Oh, wow. So here at the Halcyon, they have the climate simulator. Inside the climate simulator, you can basically get some fresh air, you get some plants, and you also get some stackable rocks that you can play with pretty much. And you get some sunlight, and you don't have to be stuck inside the Halcyon all the time if you don't want to. So this is actually pretty cool if you just want to relax. You gotta balance the force. Balance what's good and evil. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, maybe put a smaller rock? No. We're doing it the hard way. <laughs> this. Maybe this one here? Done like a true master. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> wow. Now look, it's like right at the edge. Look at this. Whoa. What? Can you wield a lightsaber? Yes. Whoosh. <laughs> That's me having both. Like that. Ready? Okay, ready? Do the sound check again. Ready? <laughs> Right behind this door is gonna be lightsaber training, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready too. Yeah? <laughs> just like so, just like we have that nice at center, all right? So when you block that blast, move your body away from it. 
like that. Very good. So you're going to see a beam, and Sajalin will explain all of this. You're going to see that beam, you block it, and then return to center and keep those feet planted. All right? Okay. You feel that movement? Nice. And don't be afraid, you can do, you can do. <laughs> Just keep it in control. Oh, yeah, you read. <laughs> Let's see. I'll get behind you. Okay. There you go. Right. Ready position. Good. Okay. Now we have ready position. Very good. Quick as can do. You may need that three action time soon. Everyone, awareness forward. These are your training remotes used in lightsaber training for generations. Today you will continue this legendary tradition. The training remotes will fire low power energy blasts which you must deflect with your lightsaber. But before each blast, you'll see a blue tracer beam. It is right here. This is not the blast. This is a guide, an indicator to show you which area the blast will come from. Now, when you face the remote, you will, and it never gets old, <laughs> you will meet the beam, block the blast, return to center. Meet the beam, block the blast, return to center. Returning to center between each move helps you wield your lightsaber with purpose Well, let's do it. Let's see those ready positions. Yes, ignite your sabers. Breathe, have fun, encourage your peers, and engage. You have to do it! Yeah! 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 the lightsaber training seems very easy, but then it eventually starts getting even harder and much more challenging. Engage. Oh, let's go. Alright, here we go. Yes. 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 Across the ship without the first order seeing him. They really want him. The ones at the lightsaber training area. There he goes. I think we're good. What's that? I think we're okay. okay. Oh. Good. 
quite the exercise. <laughs> My legs are from squatting. <laughs> but we we did good. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. That was actually a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a workout. I didn't yeah. think it was going to be a workout until like, like the second round. I'm like, okay, I'm my shoulders just started hurting. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm squatting. And they what teach you on? how to wield a lightsaber properly, yes. which is really cool. I didn't know that's how you wield a lightsaber. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> how you doing? Okay. What are you up to? Uh, we're just going to go uh, to the bathroom. Have to be careful because the first order is right over there. We're about to see some artifacts. Ooh, hopefully they don't notice. We're over here. I forgot my wallet. Oh, oh, this whole time it wasn't sandwiches. It was a holocron. It's a good thing you didn't open it. I still, still hoped it was sandwiches though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so, TIE fighters out here. I got a three step. I know already. Thank you for being here. I know I've got a good crew. Third is, it, well, this bridge. Um, who has had training on the bridge? Ah, perfect. Normally I wouldn't uh, get myself or other people involved in something that could bring danger. But this is for Gaia. With the help of Honda Onaka, we are indeed smuggling Coaxium on board. Thank you for coming. All three of you. All right, we got weapons. Got weapons? Yeah. Weapons constant. I once won a, um, a Skyhopper off of a scrapper. Who did not? Deserve it, by the way. T16. Vintage. Flew it everywhere. <laughs> I think it was similar to this. This is, this is uh, this a little more big. But anyhow, I'm glad that all of you are trained on the bridge. Let's just say that. Okay. Uh, Positions ready and everybody hit your target. Thank you, Choa. Uh, <laughs> Control of the bridge is restricted to authorized personnel only. Sir, I highly doubt that you. Oh, oh man. Well, it seems you are somehow <laughs> authorized. That's unusual, but <laughs> turns out you have the controls. Yeah, of course I do. Never doubt the abilities of Wraith 
Transport. This is Hondo Onaka of Onaka Transport Solution. Hondo Onaka Race Call. Who oh, what? But I should be speaking with Gaia. She's basically uh, unavailable. You can speak freely. Hondo does nothing for free. Okay. I am on my way as arranged, and I should reach the Hassel. TIE Fighters, and they are shooting at my ship. Do you have the coaxium? Well, of course I have your precious cargo, but Honda was also precious cargo. And since being shot at was not part of the deal, the deal is off. No. Precious cargo is gone. Now I am too. Goodbye. No, you can't play me, Hondo. Oh, I am talking, believe me. And I have recalculated the risk. Add 40% to my fee. I've recalculated your odds. Take 30%, we'll take out the TIE Fighters. Oh, very well. I'm approaching fast. Ready your weapons. Oh, our weapons are ready. Here we go. Watch, the ship has weapons, right? Weapons armed and ready. Uh, yeah, we got weapons. Very good. All right. Let's take these TIE right, Fighters good out. Not the Hondo ship. He loves that ship. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Yeah. Right there. Come and help us out. Sound like things got interesting. Yes. 
Interesting. Yes. I'll tell you all about it over a quiet day in the Sabbath. <laughs> you wouldn't live. Very cold. What? Twice. It would totally be worth it. Totally worth it. Okay, well, we have to get this coaxium hidden and put away. Yeah. Lieutenant Croy cannot find out about this at all. Well, guys, yes? the moment shouldn't be a distraction. Yes, great. So let's head out there. Okay. All right, enjoy, guys, performance. We're going to distract Croy from this arrival, yes? <laughs> That was stolen from a first order transport on Corellia earlier today by resistance operatives from this ship. Stolen coaxium aboard the Halcyon puts you in a grave situation, Lenka. Anything else you would like to confess? It's mine. It's yours. It's, it's yours. You, oh, sir. Oh, it's mine. Full of red light radiating car. This is your stolen coaxium. Oh, I'll come, yeah, just stop with that. All right, everybody. Stay where you are. I look forward to this conversation. Yes. 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 What a pleasure. What an unexpected surprise having you aboard. They know. They know your drink from last time. Really? I think these are Coke Zeros. Let me, let me see, let me see. Because if it is, I'm going to freak out. Gonna They're getting us Coke Zero like last time. We didn't even ask for it Dude, yet. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to, hold on. I'm going to freak out if it's Coke Zero. Get out of town. It's Coke Zero? Yes. Wow. So we just came in for dinner and we haven't even asked for anything yet. And they already had Coke Zero waiting for us. And that's like something that we like to drink. And they remembered from last time. We didn't have to ask. I asked my waiter, Nelson. I'm like, which do you prefer? The Matua or the Tonare? And he said the tonneau because it's per picture perfect, so I'm excited. <laughs> I think I'm going to change things up a little bit this time, and I'm going to get the Gold Squadron Lager. It's creaming a beer. As we all know, Mustafar is very uninhabitable. But what it lacks in vegetation is life. It makes up in bold, strong flavors. Oh, I love that experience where the chef comes out and explains to you all the foods and what planet it came from. That's incredible. And I mean, we're here for food, right? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's what we're all about. Yes. So to go ahead and start us out this evening, we have our amazing Mustafarian breads and spreads with a pima cheese in the middle. That is a little bit of an a extra virgin olive oil. We also have our Shondo spread underneath, a red fruit tamponade, and an apricot spread. Our breads are gonna be a charred cracker, an amethyst spread, and then underneath is our flatbread for us. Wow, Enjoy. thank you so Enjoy much. much. We're gonna really dig in, put a little of this cracker here, and break it in half. Ooh, pretty powdery. Uh, maybe some apricot jam. Ooh. And we have our tongue Chardonnay from the Planet Alderaan there. Gold Squadron Lager. There you go. Wow. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Check out this lager, guys. <laughs> I can't wait to drink this. Now this Chardonnay is from Alderaan, and we all know Princess Leia is the princess of Alderaan. <laughs> Truly made for a princess. <laughs> Look at this frothy ale right here. This is the Gold Squadron Lager, and I'm all about the squadron. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. That is very bright. I do like this a lot. It goes down very smoothly. And the foam on top is just beer head. <laughs> so much of it too. Wow, very good. I like this cup too. I wish they sold all the glasses they had here because they have some really weird looking glasses that are really cool and I want one. I want to take it home. <laughs> <Not true. laughs> For our next course, we stay in the Otter Rim Territories and set our path forward. Felucia. This planet is filled with lush foliage, colorful fungi, and exotic species. Lucian shrimp, 
with a red ball jungle sauce. <laughs> you enjoy? Thank you. My honor. So the reason why the shrimp is blue is because they feed on blue algae, which is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting looking. Wow. It looks delicious to me. Ready? I'm gonna take some of this stuff. I want to try it. Very creamy. It almost tastes like, almost tastes like jalapeno in a bit. It's got a little bit of kick. Very buttery, very creamy. A lot of flavor. And this one here. We need to tone down the the jalapeno. All right. So the apricot is very gelatinous, almost like jelly, but not really. It's going to be more of a puree. It's sweet, it's tasty, and uh, I believe if you mix it up with a certain type of bread. This one here, it might actually taste pretty good. Think of it like toast and jelly. It's really nice. I like it. It looks very interesting. And that's a must. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try out the Ice Felucian Shrimp Cocktail. Mmm. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's a fresh shrimp. Mm. Oh, no, don't look behind you, Jadel. You know. <laughs> we ain't sharing. We ain't sharing. <laughs> That's a fresh shrimp. I want to add a little bit of that cocktail sauce right on top. That. See how that tastes? This is where it's at. It's, it's just basically your shrimp cocktail. Look. Mm. That's how you do it. For our next course. So this here is our Kashyyyk Kabara. I have heard from passengers on other cruises that it is something similar to, I believe they call it grouper. Uh, that comes along with a lemon butter sauce. We also have our Kashyyyk braised bantha short rib that comes along with our fig fruit demi and also a turmeric puree. And I have heard that Chewbacca can eat a whole bunch of these. <laughs> so, good luck. Thank you. I see that can be Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> I love colorful dishes. It's beautiful. These are shareable plates, so I'm gonna grab one for me. Set that there. Set that side there. Put it on top of the fish. There you go. Ooh. There we go. It's almost like a citrusy, delicate fish. It falls right apart on your mouth. Oh my gosh. And that puree, chef's kiss. It's very earthy too. Little bits of citrus on there. Oh, I love that. It's so delicious. Can't wait to dig into this. We got a piece here. It's a beautiful dish. Yes, it is. Just... <laughs> right? Very savory meat. But then that sweet glaze on top, the balance that it has makes it excellent. I love this. And the puree, very good as well. It just falls apart. Our dessert this evening. We have our Shen Drillin' Choco Air Cake. Uh, it comes along with a Jogim Fruit on the bottom, part of my reach. We also have a Teratik Jelly on top. And as you may notice, it is a little bit of our Shen Drillin logo on there oh, for you. Right. Wow, thank you. How would you eat this? So you just, I think I need yours so I can take a picture. I don't think you should take this picture. And then picture. maybe do some quality check. Nah, it's all right. I got it. Air cake, look how pretty. And I love glitter. I'm so happy it has glitter. Now, how do you eat this? I think we just go in, right? Let's do it. <gasps> Ooh. It's a decadent chocolate cake. That feeling inside is nice and sweet. I'm gonna have a little pop of this jelly here. Oh, 
Those are pretty colors. It's so amazing. I wish they gave me more of this to take home with me and I share with all of you guys out there because this is so delicious. I love it. Wow, you're right. Like, how do you even, <laughs> how do you even eat this? It's got a nice chocolate pastry on the bottom, kind of like a brownie. But on the top, you have some very crunchy chocolate. It's very really nice. Oh. We're needed at the atrium. Just want to let you know, you get these really cool cookies <laughs> with your three course we meal. We have to go to the atrium and the yeah. emergency. We gotta go. Let's go. All right, we have to report to our muster station, Chanel. This is an emergency. Dude, that was so nice of him. Thank you, Nelson. I'm so happy. He gave you dessert to take home to your home planet. I said, what do I do to take back one of these to my home planet? He said, let me see what I can do. Wait, he smuggled the one. <laughs> I like how there's an emergency going on and we're still talking about food. <laughs> hey, we're food we go. Come on. Everyone, put your mustard to the Let me hear you. Good. Let's have everybody organized in those muster stations. Keep an eye on all of this. Make sure everything's organized. Captain Keevan! This is a civilian star cruiser. You have no authority here. I suggest you exercise your authority and organize these passengers. I'm sorry, Sasha. Something interrupted your channels of peace. Yes, your insufferable boorishness. You should be thanking me. I have nothing to thank you for, Lieutenant, except for reminding me why I have always served under General Leia Organa. You have been relieved of your responsibilities. The Halcyon is now under my command and the authority of the First Order. Yeah. Of course I couldn't have done all of this alone. I've had help from many of your passengers. Get him out of my sight! Sammy! Captain's fine! Sammy, don't yes. you fight you! Wait. He's here!
After all this time, you're still holding on. To what? The Resistance? The Jedi? They're gone, Rey. So let them go. No! I won't. It gave this part! Garbage you. 
What did you learn from me? I think, I think you taught me that a hero can come from anywhere. When we first met, you said you were just here for the food, but then <laughs> That's true. you helped me <laughs> again and again, and helped me believe in myself, which is why I want to say from the very core of my programming, thank you. Thank you. You are most welcome. I promise that even if I live another 200 cycles, I won't forget what you've done for me. But now I'm afraid our time together is almost oh. over. Until then, best journey onward. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good goodbye. Sweet lullaby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great good night kiss. Third day. All packed up, ready to go. Man, what an exciting time, huh? I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I'm a little sad that we're, we're leaving. It's our last day. We're gonna like stay here forever and see how what happens. Yeah, right? It was so cool. <laughs> There's Dan over there too, he's packing his stuff. I'm having so, oh, I had so much fun. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So we're here for breakfast. It's a final breakfast. It's a final breakfast. This is it. This is it. I don't want to leave. I'm going to stay here forever. <laughs> yeah. It's on our last day here on the Halcyon. We thought we'd get ourselves some delicious breakfast. And we did. We got some eggs. We got some sausage, waffle, an extra waffle because I was craving them waffles. I also got some scrambled eggs and some dessert pastries. Janelle wanted some fruit, so we decided to get some fruit too. And of course, our maple syrup for the waffle. The only thing I wish I had on here was a little bit of cheese, but that's okay. Mm. <laughs> some pepper on top. Yeah, you got yourself some tasty breakfast too. Yes, I got this thing called the meat pie. Ooh. Like, looks like pizza, huh? <laughs> yeah, it does. Little pastries. Did you see the waffle? It has a little chandrilla sign on top, on the middle. And I also got myself some green milk to start the morning. <laughs> Not too bad. Make your way to the long pass and your next adventure. Uh, Make the stars <laughs> No one wants to leave. Breakfast until 10 a.m. We're gonna stay till 10 a.m., baby. <laughs> We're about to get on our pod and head back to Chandrila. On behalf of the captain and crew of the Halcyon, we appreciate our time together. May the stars light your way. 
You want to press the indicator for terminal on the other side, okay? Thank you. All right, Dan, it's time to go home. It is. I'm sad. I don't want to leave. <laughs> I see him. The terminal, right? Yeah. yeah. So we got terminal down. Feels human now. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool, huh? Wait, I forgot my phone. <laughs> I can't spell the fish out right now. <laughs> We're back in Florida. <laughs> Wrong movie. I can't even describe how awesome this was. Really cool, something I've never done before and something I definitely want to try again. It's really expensive, so next time I'm just gonna have to try to bring a few friends so we can do this all together and it's not as expensive, but man, what a great time. We also met new friends. We got to hang out with other people that love Star Wars just as much as we do. And that's what made this event more memorable. <laughs> Core memories forever.